Hi, man, and uh, the time of year that I wanted to get together with you and share some uh, time here. I think probably as you look at me, you're going to see that uh, I've kind of groomed myself up, mustache, uh, goatee, and uh, now short hair. Somebody's accused me of going through the menopause, but uh, <laughs> I just decided I was going to try it. And, uh, of course, I know you're going to reflect back to the days that we were together and when I kind of got on you and when I saw any facial hair, particularly the goatee and the uh, uh, beard. But I think I allowed you to wear mustaches. But uh, anyway, it's something I thought I'd try. It's kind of interesting with the haircut. I got tired of combing my hair. So um, I saw a picture where I used to, back when, uh, wear a burr haircut. So I got the picture and I took it into my barber, Frank, who I gone in and, and uh, dealt with him over a span of probably about 30 years. And uh, so I showed him the picture. I said, Frank, I want you to cut my hair like this. So he looked at it and then he looked at me. He said, did Ellie okay this? I said, get your clippers out and clip. And uh, so he excuses himself, and I thought he'd gone to the bathroom. He comes back, and he says, okay, I'll cut it. When I get home, I walk in the door, and Ellie says, Frank called me and wanted permission to cut your hair. I said, you got to be kidding me. So anyway, she gave me permission, and uh, so uh, this is where I am now. But uh, nevertheless, uh, it's always good to talk to you, um, share just a few minutes here with you. But I think, first of all, I just want to say that with the Mallory Men website, Bruce Boofy's done a great job uh, with the uh, website. He decided that he wanted to make some changes and, and to upgrade it a, a little more. So with that, there's been changes made. As a result, we had about 30 of you on the website. And then with the changes, it means you have to come back and get upgraded and get back involved again with the website. Some of you have done it, others haven't. And uh, so it's a matter of getting the word out, but I sure hope we can get uh, that many back and if not more involved with the website because it gives us a great way to uh, communicate. Anything that's going on, uh, reunions or any events, that type of thing, we can put it on the uh, website. I know that Bruce is trying to reach you through uh, Facebook and uh, get you to get back and involved with the website. So I hope that you will spread the word and uh, want to see a good representation. That means I know myself uh, a good way to, uh, uh, as I said, to hook up, communicate. And um, I just want to, with that, uh, it's always great to hear from you. I know I had guys that uh, when I had a birthday or Christmas or Happy New Year uh, email to me, um, that was very nice. So uh, my email is bgmallory at comcast.net. And then if you ever want to call me, my cell is 812-345-3186 or call me there at the home, 812-336-8262. Uh, so it's always great to, you know, to hear from you. So um, <laughs> I was on Facebook, but I've kind of cooled that. Uh, I had uh, six women said they want to be my friend, and I didn't know them. I said, screw that. I've been married 55 years, and I ain't going to foul that baby up. So I got off <laughs> Facebook. But nevertheless, uh, I uh, hope we can get everybody back and even more involved uh, with the website itself. Now, as we're starting the 2014 season, exciting time. I know that we all are anxious to get into the football season, supporting all four of the teams and programs that we've been involved with, each one with your own and me and, and Ellie, I should say, and myself with the four programs being Miami, University of Colorado, Northern Illinois, and Indiana. Love them all. And uh, we're there to support as you are to support each one of the programs that you were involved with and the passion that you have for it. And as I look at, uh, I'm not going to give you a scouting report, but as I'm looking at uh, all four programs, they all look like they're going to be better and look like they're all very winnable. And what's good today is you get six wins and you're in a bowl. I look back over the years at we were involved, we had six plus uh, uh, wins and we never got to a bowl because back then it wasn't that way. But today, and it's great that it's that way, we've got 
whatever it is, 36 bowls, and I hope they don't ever uh, take them away because I never went or we never went to a bad bowl. So you have six wins and you're in a bowl uh, somewhere. So I think uh, all these programs have a very good chance of being good winnable programs this year. And with that then, of course, to get to a bowl. We plan to get uh, to games and see uh, the teams play. Probably the University of Colorado because of the distance factor right now is a little bit iffy. Although we do want to catch a game. I'm not sure just which one. Of course, we have Barbara, our family, her family out there. So we like to... Uh, get out and see them and then go to a CU game. But nevertheless, it's a matter of us all behind supporting and wishing them the very best and seeing that they get off to a good start here with the early part of the season then just building momentum, as you know, taking each game one at a time and uh, work right through that season and each uh, week get themselves better. And I know they're focused that way. So it's exciting, 2014 football season, and I hope that um, as we go to games and somewhere along the way, our paths cross. But keep also in mind, if you ever want to give me a call or email me, it's always great to uh, hear from you. I think a lot of you. You mean a lot to me. God bless you. Take care.